Hey there, it's Mikair with More Prana Gardens. Today I am going to pot up some of the tomato plants from the Silly Tomato Experiment. The chickens are having an attitude. I'm sorry if you can hear them borping in the background. So I'm just going to do some of them because some are still kind of small. And also because when I came out to check my supplies, I realized that I had a teeny bit of cocoa core broken down. So there's more of that getting ready now, but I didn't have a whole lot to mix up. I've already made 10 pots and I'm going to make two more right here for you. So you can see all I'm doing is this is the mix that I do with my soil blocks and all those things. So it's bagged. I'm going to let chickens out. Yes, bark, 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 bark. The chicken said to tell you what's up. They're happy now. They're probably still going to bark, but not so much. This is what I put in my soil blocks. It is potting mix from a bag, which I am never going to trust for nutrients, even though it has some. It's cocoa core, which has no nutrients. So I've added some vermicompost from my worm bin, some kelp meal. This is the one I'm using and some mycorrhizal fungi, which is this one. So the kelp for improved root development, improved branching and fruiting and flowering and the mycos to help with um, water and, and nutrient regulation in the pots. And then once they go into the ground, they'll help with communication between the other plants and all those same things as well. I'm putting about half of the pot in there and then I'm just going to drop them. There's a little bowl of water right here and I'm just going to let them soak up a little water really quick. And there is a reason I'm doing half. Okay. We're going to call that wet enough for now. Get my soil out of the way. So I have my bowl of water, which I mentioned a second ago, and that is going to help me break up the roots. The other supplies I'm going to use are a hori hori, and that's just to grab the clump out of here. And I have this cute little diblet. <laughs> it's a dibbler, but smaller. And I'm going to use it to poke a hole in the soil. I'm going to start with the bigger clump. This one down here, it was the first one to pop up. If you ever run your hand down a hori hori, both sides are sharp. Trust me. I learned that the hard way. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to try, hello little earthworm. I'm going to try not to steal too much of the soil or the, I called them an earthworm, compost worms from here. Go back in there, baby. Good wormy. Okay. So these don't need this soil because they're going in a new soil. I'm going to cover up that spot and I'm going to drop these down in, into the water and just start to work some of that soil off the roots. I'm going to start to just very gently tug them apart. And when I get one out, see those little roots there? I'm going to take my pot and my diblet or a Sharpie marker or a pencil or your finger and I'm going to make a hole and I'm going to put the roots down into the hole. And I should not have put my soil underneath the table yet. I still need that. Fortunately, it's right here where I can reach it. All right. And then I'm going to put soil in until I come up to the top. Now, tomatoes have those hairy stems. They can grow roots all along their stem. So what I just did is give this tomato plant a big boost because it's going to have all of that stem to grow roots on now. So all from here to here, that's all stem that's in soil and it's going to grow roots on all of that and that's going to help it just with everything that it needs to do. I almost forgot to say this. I am 59 subscribers from 250 and I have made a promise that at 250 I will sing the alphabet backwards for y'all. Please hit subscribe so that I can embarrass myself. <laughs> and please hit like. Thank you. 
I can't believe I've agreed to this. So I'll do one more for y'all. Gently just pulling them apart. Dibble down. Look who's back. Hi, Bobo. Give me a kiss. You're a good girl. Yes, this tomato. All right, so down in there. <laughs> That's a lovely shot, right? And then soil on top. I'm going to chunk this big piece into the compost. We don't need that in there. Ooh, get your heads up, little babies. So before I finish potting the rest of them up, and so that you can see what we're doing, the compost worms have multiplied. I'm going to go ahead and reset this pot because I just have the one clump in there now. So I'm going to feed the worms. There's mushroom down in there. Oh my gosh, there are so many worms in here. This is wonderful. So I have two little bits of carrot that I'm going to put down in the bottom of the pot. Just, you know, for fun. Keep the experiment going. And check this out. I had one little green zebra tomato that was still on the counter that is somehow, I know I picked this on January 1st and it's, I mean, it's a little soft, but it hasn't died. So let's just, let's just do it again, right? So I'm just gonna put that down in there and I'm gonna cover it with soil. I mean, it worked with the cherry tomatoes. I'm not losing anything by playing with my food, right? I'm gonna carry on. The silly tomato experiment video will be up here if you want to see that. I'll go ahead and throw the soil blocking video up so you can see how to mix soil too. Later y'all.